Well, today, Portsmouth will work to take back the community, and they are hoping to do that with the power of prayer, following a half a dozen homicides in recent weeks. And city leaders hope coming together will help the community heal just days into the new year. This morning, our Camaria Bray is live in Portsmouth with a preview of tonight's event. Camaria. Katie and Asia, I'm at Portsmouth City Park. This is where the prayer vigil will be at six tonight to remember those lives that died by gun violence. Now, within the last two weeks of 2022, six people were killed. The youngest, 17 years old, and the latest shooting was on New Year's Eve. And police are still trying to solve those crimes while trying to help the community heal. According to data from the gunviolencearchive.org, since 2020, gun deaths have jumped by 36% in Portsmouth. Data shows 33 people were killed by guns in 2021. Last year, it rose to 41. So tonight, the mayor and police chief are speaking to the community for a, quote, urgent call to action for all those who care. It's kind of a rallying moment. We're hoping that everyone in the community will attend, uh, try to ignite something within our residents to get them involved and to get them to be involved in the lives of their loved ones and their families, specifically their children. The city of Portsmouth encourages parents to talk to their children about gun violence and about any issues that they may have with others in the community. They also encourage parents to remind their kids to be home by 11 o'clock. That's the city curfew and the prayer visual is tonight at six here at Portsmouth City Park in Portsmouth, Camarilla Bray, to your side.